Hi, my name is Izan, and I will tell you a story about how building an arcade cabinet taught me about game design. Usually, when we're thinking about the arcade cabinet, we're thinking about this kind of form, like a big furniture uh, with the screen, and also control, and also some lights here, and also some coins uh, inside to, to ensure the duration of play become more longer. And when I think about the arcade game in Indonesia, it's, it's really struggling to find it, but actually I found some interesting starting point uh, that I can start. Uh, for example, Indonesia is common to have select places for rental where obviously they rent some PlayStation for the public and all players can use it to play it. And actually, why I taking this topic to become an uh, interesting point? Because uh, even though they have some really similar features, like for example, they have some board control, there's some screen, there's some like uh, coin eventually actually for determine the duration of player playing. But can we call it both like arcade cabinets? And that's one of my big question. Also, the second question is to like, what are the, arc, the current second aspect that define an arcade cabinet? In order to know that, in actually in the in the in the cell design as my background as well, there's some framework called product successor. It's more like the arrangement of functional elements of a product into several physical blocks. For example, like this one, like arcade, there are some several physical blocks, like display, speaker, controller, and chassis with their uh, 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 functioning, like display for, for, for visualizing, speaker for producing sound, and control panel for game control. And that's all the component that can be, we can say that this is defined in the arcade. But actually, in here, actually, they have some similarity in here uh, with the, this kind of component. They have some display, speaker, and control, but Actually, what makes this difference is actually the surface because previously in this arcade, the surface is more like uh, encasing all the company become one product. Unlike this one, they not kind of like uh, encasing all the product into one product, but it's more like separated, but still functioning like arcade actually, like, like this one. And then in order to know more about it, so I think it to myself, like, why don't I try to make some build some prototype of arcade and try to exhibit to get more insight and to get feedback from the players. So in this case, I decided to collaborate with some game developer. And also I asked them to install one of his games or their games into, uh, into my arcade cabinet. And I tried to exhibit in, in, in the exhibition like this one. And when I make this exhibition, I found really interesting findings. Like for example, the first one, uh, this arcade format, cabinet, cabinet format, it can be enjoyed by everyone. Like by encasing games into the cabinet form, will create some open interaction with players and spectators. And also with this arcade cabinet, will be create some no edge status boundary to enjoying the games. In uh, in arcade cabinet version, the game shapes control are more pleasant, appealing, and less intimidating for some users. Like for example, like when uh, making the research, I found like uh, one family, like uh, fathers and two two children, they playing around in this exhibition, and the father usually just standing in the back, just watching the children play. But when he, the father, uh, interacting with his arcade cabinet, they Actually, he intrigued to, to try to play it. And when I asked why you intrigued to play these games, and he said that, yeah, because uh, the control is really simple and actually makes me less intimidating to try. It. And, um, and that's why I'm quite interesting to play and quite uh, curious to how it should be game pass look like. And also the physical form in cabinet able to get player attention. So because the the, the game's encasing is like encased with a really is a really big cabinet and actually the simple it is quite unique. Uh, the form is quite unique for them and actually it makes them to interest to play and play the game itself. And actually this can be a really good marketing value for the game developer. So in conclusion, when you know when you try to design an arcade cabinet, there are two things experience that experience that you need to consider. That like first one, the intangible game world, like the gaming experience, the gameplay experience, like more like software gameplay, but also an experience that comes from the real or physical world. This is something that you need to thinking of when designing arcade cabinet. Like for example, you need to thinking about like the how the control looks like, how the physical looks like, so people. Uh, will encourage to try your games in the, in the cabinet. And that's all from my, uh, my story for sharing. And thank you for listening. Have a good day. All this is possible thanks to our sponsors, Playtest Cloud, 
Play Your Research, Balsamic, Adobe, The Book, How to Be a Games User Researcher, UX is Fine, Antidote, and Sketch.